Step two, actually it's, it's a toss-up, which is number two, number three, number four in the protocol after that. Uh, one of the most important substances that also comes out of the emergency room is sodium bicarbonate, which is common baking soda. It's been around, Arm & Hammers has been around for 125 to 150 years. In 1926, they came out with a booklet about how to use sodium bicarbonate as a medicine. Sodium bicarbonate is probably the most useful substance there is. There are books that talk about hundreds of common uses, cleaning the refrigerator, dealing with diaper rash. Um, I mean, the list is endless. As a medicine, it is crucial. It also, as a medicine, is the least expensive medicine there is. You can buy 50 pounds for less than $50, so we're talking very inexpensive because it's common baking soda, and yet in injectable form, you have to have a license to use it, though it's very useful taken orally and transdermally like in baths. In fact, it's so useful I put it in between my toes to control toe fungus in between my toes. Baking soda is a very flexible medicine like magnesium. It can be taken orally, it can be used transdermally, it can be injected, it can be nebulized, and it, with, uh, there's a company that makes a, a capsule that combines sodium bicarbonate with glutathione. Break open the capsule and put it into the nebulizer and you're directly treating the lungs um, in a very, very powerful way that will help a broad range of conditions from lung cancer to asthma to emphysema. Um, glutathione is a very, very, very important thing that is not very well absorbed through oral means. So this transdermal route is a very powerful tool. I recommend sodium bicarbonate baths. I've had, uh, usually I recommend a pound or two pounds in a bath. I've had people write me, have used up to five pounds. And they told me the bicarbonate was coming out of them for two weeks afterwards. So I wouldn't recommend so quickly that kind of level. But starting out with a pound of sodium bicarbonate and a pound of magnesium chloride bath flakes or dead sea salt. Um, people have been using for years Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate, which is okay, but it just doesn't, the medical effect is not as strong as using magnesium chloride. So these baths are very, very nice. Um, orally, for cancer, I'm the only doctor in the world who's written a book, a full medical review on sodium bicarbonate, on the simple baking soda. And I always suggest it in, uh, to be part of a protocol for cancer treatment. This is a very important point because we, there are many reasons to sustain and a quite a bit of clinical and experimental science to sustain Dr. Tullio Simoncini from Rome, his use of sodium bicarbonate in treatment of cancer also in the treatment of kidney disease, also in the treatment of diabetes. In fact, we find that in the, now the 21st century and in the century be, before with all of these toxic uh, toxins combining in, in the face of our nutritional deficiencies, people have become acidic. The modern or normal condition of hum human beings or of our patients is their acid. Their, their, their whole environment is acidic. pH medicine is a central medical approach to turn people back into like the alkaline wind. All processes, all physiological processes are pH sensitive. We go to the acid, go to inflammation, things change, and they don't change in a healthy direction. 
Bicarbonate is a very simple way of bringing or balancing out this, this acidic condition. As far as orally, you have to use pH strips as a guidance system. For cancer patients, we don't want their urinary pH to go over 8, 8.1, 8.2 maximum. Many people start out with urine around 5, 5.5, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, 6. 6.2. We need to rapidly bring it up to 8 when we treat cancer. And don't think this is such a, a wild idea. The uh, oncologists use sodium bicarbonate in their chemotherapy. Why do they do that? Well, bicarbonate, because of its broadband effect, it helps detoxify and buffer things, neutralizes things. You can even clean soil of uranium with bicarbonate. That's a pretty strong uranium. You can take the uranium right out of the soil. You can do the same thing with the body, with many things. And when the oncologists inject very toxic, poisonous, hot chemo agents, the bicarbonate buffers it so the patient doesn't die right in front of the uh, doctors. When you're poisoning people, you need to protect them a little bit. And oncologists, some of them at least, are smart enough to use the bicarbonate. We know bicarbonate reduces tumor size, and it's, we would think it's a natural thing to occur because we are changing the condition of the cancer from acid, which is, cancer is an acid condition, to alkaline. It's going to help. The cancer is not going to like it. So sodium bicarbonate is very useful. As far as oral dosages, you can take right on the side of the almond hammer's box, tells you the maximum dose for a full grown adult, which is eight half teaspoons a day. Some people mix, in, in a full glass of water, some people mix um, maple syrup. I prefer blackstrap molasses with a sodium bicarbonate. Dr. Tullio Simoncini, he always uses sugar when he um, uses the sodium bicarbonate intravenously. Uh, one, his basic rationale is in late state cancer patients, People are dying because they have no blood sugar. The cancer is taking all the sugars and carbohydrates. So he supplements during the treatment with, with sugar. I prefer using the sodium bicarbonate just in water and in the baths. Um, I don't recommend anymore the, 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 the sugar. Though I do recommend super nutrition, and we'll get to that a little later. So uh, back to the dose, the eight half teaspoons is the maximum dose and it's for two weeks and then you have to take a week off. We don't want to use too much bicarbonate. We don't want to over alkalinize the body. Uh, we want to navigate very precisely using the pH strips. The urinary pH responds very quickly. The saliva pH is, uh, uh, takes quite a bit of time and uh, a really good alkaline diet to really see changes in the saliva. So um, normally I recommend people start uh, using two or three half teaspoons a day and then watch their pH and take their pH uh, morning and in the afternoon after their baths if they use P, uh, bicarbonate in their baths. IVs of course an injection for the emergency room is, a, is another story.